In this tutorial video, I'm gonna talk to you briefly about the surface anatomy of abdominal aorta. Before starting with the um, surface anatomy, let me uh, give you a quick overview about the uh, abdominal aorta that passes posteriorly which is one of the great vessels in the uh, posterior abdominal wall. Here we go. This is the abdominal aorta. And you know that it's a continuation of the thoracic aorta. You know, this is the heart, and there is ascending aorta, and there is descending aorta, descending or thoracic aorta. Then the thoracic aorta, Perses the uh, posterior uh, part of the diaphragm here. I'll use another pen. So, this is the aortic hiatus, which is at the level of T12. I mean, thoracic vertebra number 12, the last thoracic vertebra. So, at this point, the thoracic aorta becomes abdominal aorta. This is the abdominal aorta. So, it starts, the abdominal aorta I mean, it starts at T12 and terminates at the level of L4. You see the shadow in the back? This is the lumbar vertebra number 4 and this is the lumbar vertebra number 5. So, the Abdominal aorta terminates at the level of L4, right? It's written here and as well here. And you know, at this level of L4, the uh, abdominal aorta divides into two branches, the right and left common iliac arteries. You know, when you hear when you hear uh, uh, common, let me erase this. So, when you hear common, that means uh, it will divide into two or more uh, branches. Like in this case, to external iliac, the, I mean the common iliac divides into external iliac and internal iliac. Now, let us shift back to the uh, surface anatomy. No, no, because this is the posterior abdominal wall, which is deep, and we got the idea. Let us go to the surface anatomy. Now, to identify the uh, location of the abdominal aorta at the surface of the abdomen, let us draw two planes or two lines. The first one is the transpyloric, transpyloric plane, and... The second one is the supracrystal plane. Now, there is a video on the uh, planes of the abdomen and division of the abdomen. You can watch it. But for now, uh, you know, here is the suprasternal notch. Of course, you can feel it, right? Which is uh, at the uh, upper, uh, upper border of the uh, sternum. You know, you have two ways to uh, draw the transpyloric plane. First of all, it's the midway between the suprasternal notch and symphysis pubis. This is the symphysis pubis. This is the joint, the symphysis pubis. So the midway, it would be at this level. This is the transpyloric plane, which is at the level of L1. So, this is, you know, if you go here, so it's similar to the distance from symphysis pubis up to here. So, it's the midway between uh, jugular notch, jugular notch, and the symphysis pubis. Or, there is another way, which is, you know, it's like long, some people sees as long distance, so you can say it's the uh, midway also, but between the xiphoid process 
and the umbilicus. So also it's the midway between the zygote process and umbilicus. This is the first line, which is the uh, transpyloric plane. Now, what about the supracrystal plane? You know, this is the hip bone, right? This is the hip bone on the right and on the left. And if you put your hand uh, just laterally and press it just a little bit, uh, you will feel there is a kind of an edge or pony protruded um, part here on the right and on the left. So the highest point here and the highest point on the left, if you draw a plane between these uh, two highest points, of course you are now drawing the uh, supra crystal plane because this is uh, uh, the uh, iliac crest, right? This is an iliac crest, and this is the highest, po highest points. So this plane is the supracrystal plane. Now, let us um, raise this stuff and draw two planes. This is almost the transpyloric plane, and this is the supracrystal plane. So, the aorta, the abdominal aorta, started two to three centimeters superior, so at this point, superior to the transpyloric plane, right? And terminates at the level of supracrystal plane easy and direct so we have two lines transpyloric plane or two planes or two lines as you wish transpyloric plane and supracrystal plane so the abdominal aorta started two to three centimeters above the transpyloric plane and terminates at the level level of lower border of L4, lumbar vertebral number four, which is at the level of uh, supracrystal plane. Two points between iliac crest or the highest points of iliac crest. This is, the, uh, you know, we prefer to use usually puny landmark, which is better than um, uh, movable uh, tissue, like for example, the umbilicus, which is located here. So some people say, you know what, I want to use the transpyloric plane and I want to use the umbilicus to, okay. So again, it's two to three centimeters above the transpyloric plane and two to three centimeters below the umbilicus. Again, you are back to the supracrystal plane. So this is the surface anatomy of the uh, Abdullah Ayorta, hope you find uh, value in it. Thank you.